Jill, what's up? Why do you look so down? Well, I've just read this and they've said that they want less from me on the show and it's just a bit disheartening because I've been putting everything into it and I tried so hard with them animal noises yesterday. Oh, look, Jill, look, don't be so hard on yourself. Let me have a look at that. Oh, Jilly, no, they don't want less on the show. They want Alessia Russo. Come on, you can oh, sort that out, can't you? Leave it with me, Kyle. This is Lionesses Down Under, connected by EE. E. Hello and welcome back to Lionesses Down Under, connected by EE. E. We have Alessia Russo in the house. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. How are you doing, Les? Yeah, all good. good Buzzing good. to be here, finally. Yeah. It's great to have you in the studio. I saw you looking around saying how nice it I looks. I know. I like that surfboard there. <laughs> Jill's already got dibs on it, she all right? She's taking that yeah. one back home. We will be, of course, talking to you about the tournament, talking about all your performances so far. And, of course, you can get in touch with us on the hashtag Lionesses Down Under. If you've got any questions for Alessia, any messages of support as well, please send them in. We want to hear from you. Alessia, 48 hours to go till the Nigeria game. How are you feeling? How's preparation going? Yeah, good. Buzzing now. I think, obviously, the whole tournament's been full of shocks and surprises and now it's knockouts, so it gets even more serious. So, um, yeah, buzzing. Training was good today. Match day minus one, then straight into it. Yeah. yeah. How about everybody else, the wider <clears throat> squad? Because you said training was good. You guys were obviously training hard. Look at the face right there. Know, training very, very that, hard. Isn't it? Uh, but... You look like you're having fun at the same time as well when you are training. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's what's so nice about these kinds of camps is that obviously it's so important to prep properly on the pitch and in the meeting rooms, but we can really switch off when the we're weights. away. Look at the, <laughs> oh, look at the tiny weight. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, when we're not on the pitch or in the gym or in a meeting, you can just really switch off and, and enjoy time with each other. We've got such a nice camp here um, that there's just loads to do and keep you busy. Yeah, and we have to talk about the China game. Here you are just scoring lots of goals for fun. But when you score in a World Cup and you've got your family there in the crowd, I know how close you are to your family. I know you had to miss your brother's wedding this season, which must have hurt a lot. But does moments like that, when you get that first World Cup goal, kind of make up for it in a way? Yeah, I think it's so nice to have them out here with me. They're my biggest fans and I'm theirs too. But I think they love coming out here. They're friends of all the parents and my brothers and Stanway's brothers are always up to something so um yeah it's so nice obviously you miss a lot in season and with the nature of the job but to have them out here and enjoy this special tournament with them yeah just makes it even more great yeah and talk to us about that strike and that goal <laughs> getting off the mark I mean that's what lots of people dream of doing you've managed to achieve that and now hopefully moving forward plenty more to come yeah, obviously I'm a striker. I love to try and score and create and assist as much as possible. So it was really nice to get on the score sheet and obviously six as well for, for the team and three points, top the group. It was just a great night down in Adelaide. Can you believe it? You've been in Australia as well for a month, literally a month yeah. ago. Wow. We had the departure show. You got on the flight, you came here. Have you been enjoying your time here? Yeah, loving it. We were talking about this earlier, how long we've been away and time just goes so quickly when you're here like obviously it feels like you've been away from home for a long time but day to day it's like bedtime before I know it so um <laughs> yeah it's great we we have such a great time on camp not only on the pitch but also where we're staying so nice on the beach can get coffee the Scott room a bit yeah, of a the relaxation Scott room. as yeah, well yeah. yeah Jill's the... never out of it now <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jill is yeah. in the Scott room um <laughs> But yeah, no, it's great. They set it up so nice for us to kind of switch off from football. So, yeah. yeah. Well, Les, you certainly are a fan's favourite, so I do need to get some uh, questions to you. So Holly Louise got in touch with us and she wants to know, what has been the off-the-pitch highlight in Australia? Oh, there's been a few, but my favourite one was when we were in base camp on Sunshine Coast. Um, there was one night where like 10 of us went down to watch the sunset on the beach. And it was just kind of like a moment where you realise we're on the other side of the world, like prepping for a World Cup. It was just like everyone was just in good spirits. The the weather was nice and just watching the sunset. So, yeah, it's moments like that. Obviously, you remember everything on the pitch, but those kinds of moments make you realise like how special this team is. So. Yeah. 
Definitely, and of course, 10,500 miles away, we've got <laughs> all the different locations up here, all right, to England and to the UK. But you said sometimes it is easy to forget that we are on the other side of the world, mm. but surely there's some home comforts that you're missing. Um, hmm, good question. I like my teas, but we have Yorkshire tea bags over here. So. Oh, you're a Yorkshire tea bag? Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. Are you not? Oh, I am. No, oh, I right. am. I am. Yeah. I like Tetley, to be fair. Oh. Jill, I thought rival. you'd say Yorkshire too. I know, a bit of a rival there. At least you didn't say Earl Grey. No, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Earl Grey is the worst team you can get, I think. So we also had Beth England on the show yesterday. I know you were watching. And we said to her, you can ask Alessia Russo any question <laughs> in the whole wide world. And this is what she came up with. Hi, Les. So my question to you is, what was it like to meet David Beckham? Oh, I want to know this too. <laughs> Jill is so excited to find this out. Have you, I'm sure you would have met him at yeah, some point. Yeah, I have. Now. But when I seen your video, I was so jealous. I was actually so jealous. <laughs> no, it was amazing. It was like, normally when you do things like that, you like shoots and stuff, I guess you kind of like get on work mode and you kind of just get through it. But no, that one was like, I think I felt like a little fangirl. I mean, I idolised him ever since I was a young young kid playing football and... Yeah, to be able to kind of do those those things through your sport. And yeah, it was a bit of a pinch me moment and he was so nice. And his daughter Harper's a big fan of the Lionesses. So yeah, yeah it was really, really nice. Go on, ask your question. I'll well, let you. Uh, oh, go you, on. you know, <laughs> go on. Go on. Uh, I mean, I have met him as well. Uh, okay. <laughs> What did it smell like? Do you know, no, was it? Good. Yeah, it's yeah. not good. Okay, okay. Everyone right. says that. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that. Yeah, I knew you were going to ask. He's that. a legend. That's why I just yeah, wanted to know is that. Yeah, he a legend. One. Oh, it's hot in here, isn't it? Let's, <laughs> let's move on, all right? And everyone knows in my downtime, I say this all the time. I just like looking through the archives of, of all of your careers, okay? And that's what I did uh, in preparation for you coming on the show because it feels like you were destined to play for England at a very young age because, Alessia, here you are as a mascot. With a Casey Stoney, all right, <laughs> Look at Charlton. That I know. I mean, you've got some interesting ones, and we've got pictures. And I was going yeah. through the archives. Okay, <laughs> she captioned this as best mascot. I mean, look how small you are, but look at the little smile on your I face know, as I look well. I like I'm in the zone, don't I? Yeah. To walk out the tunnel. What do you remember from that day? Well, I remember you used to um, go into all the Charlton games when I was younger. Um, I played in their academy. And obviously Casey was was captain and played for England at the time. So, yeah, again, buzzing, smiling, can't wait to go out on the pitch, clearly. But, um, yeah, I think eventually I went and played for Casey as well. So there's so many moments in your career that you realise have come like a little bit full circle, which is so nice to see. But... Um, yeah, good times. Oh, that's such a good story. Imagine <clears throat> having a mascot and then you go on to be their yeah. manager in the future. Could <laughs> <Yeah>. it happen? <laughs> mm, maybe not for me, no. <laughs> not sure I got it in me to be a manager. Oh, and then I know you've seen this picture before, another England legend who can predict the future. So in 2012, there's another hairstyle. Kelly Smith <laughs> yeah, that one's tweeted, even worse. <laughs> watch out for Alessia Russo. She's going to be a top player for England one day. How did it feel growing up knowing that more models like Kelly were saying such nice things about you? Yeah, I was buzzing. I think we won a tournament, which is why Kelly came in and, and gave us a coaching session and I was buzzing. I think we were out on one of like the dodgiest pitches at my school and she probably thought, what is this? But <laughs> no, it was great. I think she was one of my big idols growing up. I think she's one of the best forwards we've ever had in, in England. So um, yeah, to have her come in and coach and... Again, someone that you look up to, it's really special. Now, Jill, do you know those kids where you kind of look at them and they can just turn their hand to anything? They can play most sports, they can yeah. do anything. Alessia, you were one of those, <laughs> weren't you? Because although I'm super glad that you did choose football, talk to me about athletics because you could have gone on to actually uh, get involved in track and field because look at this. Do you, do you remember this one? I'm presuming you were pretty good at athletics God, as a child. You just picked the worst photos this of me. This is from your brother. You can blame your, blame your brother for this that one, all right? That is awful. I mean, talk to me about this because, yeah, you were uh, quite good at athletics as well. Yeah, I used to run when I was a kid. Um, my older brother, Luca, ran and Giorgio did too, but he hated it the most. Um, yeah, I think I just wanted to do everything that I could as a kid, whether it was running, rounders, netball, anything. But... Athletics was something that that 
I wouldn't say I enjoyed because like I used to get really nervous before every race but once it was done and you'd done well I, I was quite buzzing but yeah I used to run I think I did it because it helped with my football as well um but I, it was an easy choice to pick how football. old were you there in that photo do you think you must remember? have been about 11 or 12. wow 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 yeah so we've had Casey Stoney Kelly Smith David Beckham three of my heroes and now we've got a fourth of my hero. It's not Come all on. about me. Who is it? <laughs> but we've got someone on the line from your old athletics club. And it is an absolute pleasure to introduce none other than the Olympic gold medalist, Dame Kelly Holmes. Oh, hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for joining I'm us. Right. Yes. <laughs> How are you, Kelly? I'm good, I'm good. Nice and early here, thank you very much. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. I was going to say it is super early, but uh, our Lionesses fans at home might not know this all right, but of course you and Alessio are both part of the same athletics club. That's Tunbridge Athletics Club. I mean, they've not got a bad track record, have yeah, they? Really uh, in athletes that, that they produce. There you go. <laughs> I've got that one from Jill's pile of puns right there. Uh, Kelly, do you, do you remember hearing about Alessio when she was younger? Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know, the thing is, um, having run at Tunbridge Athletics Club, of course, anyone new that comes through that shows promise, everyone gets to hear about. But I actually also know about her because my best mate's son, Lewis, don't know if you remember this, Leslie, um, he used to play for Soccer Elite over in Maidstone and he used to play against you and Luca <laughs> was the coach. Um, he used to play with you and Luca was the coach down there over in Maidstone. So, of course, he was into football and knew you really well because you were the girl that was like everybody was kind of after, I think, because, you know, you got a load of boys there and then you got this girl that's like, <laughs> take them all on. And so we used to talk about you for, for ages, ages. Oh. So, yeah. So oh, the having a local girl come through, it's brilliant. Oh, yeah. So the boys were after you and then Alessia. Yeah, I'm age. not sure what she was about. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that. that. <laughs> So, Les, your brother's been doing a bit of detective work for us and he found some of your track times. They're pretty good, 100 metres in 14 seconds. We've got 800 metres in 226, 1,500 in 457. Did the athletics training help you improve as a player? And if there's young girls, young boys out there who are doing kind of joint sports, would you recommend that? Yeah, absolutely. I'd say do whatever sport you can. Um, athletics definitely helped me with my football. It's all about working hard and, and running as much and not even that you're you're in a sport where it's kind of individual and you've got to get your mentality right I'm sure as Kelly knows and that's something that's so important in a team sport too you've got to be driven you've got to be professional and, and get your standards high so um yeah Definitely. And Dame Kelly, we've got to talk about your success that you've had in Australia because you're no stranger to success in this part of the world. Sydney was, of course, the place where you received your first Olympic medal. I mean, just seeing all of the fans out here and seeing all of the support in Australia bring back happy memories for you as well? Yeah. Do you know what? I think that Australia, out of all the games that I either raced at or competed at or have been to since, was one of the best places ever. The fans were amazing. You know, their organisation, um, the local people just love sport, didn't they? So I, I just have so much fond memories of it. And also it was pre um, all social media as well. So what you got there was that this is a real Olympic feel. You know, you really felt you were somewhere special. And it's looking at the fans and how they've turned out. And, uh, you know, it's like an amazing stadium as well. So, um, yeah, I think going to have an amazing time when you compete there. Oh, and your events were held at Stadium Australia, which is where the quarterfinal will be held. And fingers crossed, unless you and the team get there. What was the atmosphere like? Is there any vivid memory you have from that day, special memory? Yeah, no, it was it was amazing. Like, I think about um, Kathy Freeman was one of the uh, biggest superstars over there at the time. And Kathy Freeman was a, um, uh, the one that everyone was having their hopes on. She came out like in a full suit, you know, like always, always a face. And uh, of course, at that time, um, being Australian and it being athletics, which obviously is always at the end in that stadium, uh, everybody was waiting for this moment that could the golden girl win uh, the 400 metres? And she did. And that stadium was electric, like, let me tell you. But the thing is, because there's so 
sporty over there. Like the fans are just so behind everybody because I think, you know, they're, they're right out of the way, aren't they? You said, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know I, mean? like, I don't know how you feel. Well, I literally felt like I was upside down when I was over there. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, you're a huge fan. You've got your shirt on as well. So talk to me about okay. where you've been watching the games. What have you made of England's performances so far as well? Oh, brilliant. Like, I... You know, obviously, I don't know much about tactics or anything. <laughs> I'm <gonna lie. laughs> but, but I watched the first game at home. The second game, I was actually on a cruise, and I was on, I was working on a cruise ship. And we were literally in the middle of the ocean, and um, there was a lot of Brits abroad on this uh, a, a cruise. So, of course, it was a big thing, and they did it in the atrium outside. They had a massive, massive screen. Now, of course, because it was packed downstairs, I managed to con this guy who had this penthouse place upstairs on a balcony, so that no one else was there. Balcony, full screen. I was laying there, <laughs> <laughs> lit, <laughs> cheering the girls on. And then, the and then the last match, I was with my best mate, who we're all f Arsenal fans, by the way. I see. We were like, well, what, like, oh, um, <laughs> We're all Arsenal fans, so we were there at home on the last game. And I have to say, like I say, I don't know much about tactics, but the formation that uh, you played on that game, I thought it was wonderful. Forget the score. I just think that, you know, as a team, you played, oh. I think, the best I've seen for a long time. So I'm really excited for the next game. I'm like such a fan. <laughs> like I'm such a fan of all of you and the Lionesses because I think you have changed the perception of, female sport in our country you know it does take people to lead by I know that but when you've got a group of young talented female who are playing to the highest level and also your attitudes and behaviors are so great I think you're such great role models that maybe a lot of us didn't have before when we grew up so keep it going we're all behind you I was out last night I have to say I've got a bit of a croaky face because I'm down in throat because I'm down in Brighton ready for Brighton pride and I was out last night um, at this club and all these gay guys were there and they were going, what do you think of the football? What do you think of the football? <laughs> I, like, I got in about two o'clock this morning after lots of cocktails and speaking about you. So, oh. <laughs> Well, you look great for it. Yeah. <laughs> well, Kelly, you definitely deserve a drink, but we can't let you go without asking if you have a good luck message for the Lionesses as they head into the last 16. We need a message from the legend yourself. Oh, I'm just going to say, do what you're doing. Stay proud and, of wearing the badge. Um, everybody's behind you. We just think that you're amazing. Um, the only expectations is that you go out there and you play your best. You know, we're really all behind you and um, can't wait for the next game. Aww. Dame Kelly Holmes, thank you so much for joining us here on Lionesses Down Under. And thank you for getting up early as well, uh, <laughs> considering you've not had much sleep, all right. But thanks for the support uh, and good luck. Um, and it just hopefully for the Lionesses, enjoy the match on Monday. Yes. See oh, you. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, Kelly. Thank you. Well done. Bye. Bye. Take care. Oh, wow. Wow. Aww. That's very special, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Dame Kelly so Holmes cool. on the show. <laughs> what? That was a great surprise. Oh. I smashed it. Um, right. Well, as always on Lionesses Down Under, we <laughs> like to... Um, Ask people at home to get in touch, as we say. Use the hashtag Lionesses Down Under. Any messages of support, any questions, and people are always doing this, getting them in. Also, check out the Instagram stories as well, okay? If you do that, you'll see who's coming on the show, and you can post your stories there. And that's what people have done, Jill, haven't Yes, they? we've had so many messages for you, Alessia, so I'll crack on. Willow Young asks, what has been your proudest moment as an England player? Oh, great question. I think... Or two, well, three, actually. <laughs> Just quick ones. My debut, winning yeah. the Euros and playing at a World Cup. I yeah. think they're three of my biggest dreams, so to be able to do them with this team is really special. Yeah, they're all right, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. They're all right. Yeah, they're not bad, <laughs> yeah. they? So Jasmine got in touch on Insta to ask, when did you know you and Tooney had a special bond? <laughs> um, pretty much right away, although... People wouldn't believe it, but she used to be really shy mm. and I used to be really, really outgoing and bubbly. And now, like, as we've got older, like, Tooney is really, really bubbly and doesn't like being on her own. And as I get older, I like my own space sometimes. <laughs> Not from Tooney, because we could sit in silence and have a good time. But, yeah, so I think we just hit it off right away. And uh, we used to always wear, like, 
unintentionally wear the same shoes and you know when oh. you just know that you have the same like vibe as someone so oh. it's yeah. another friendship at first sight I isn't know, it yeah. yeah just like yeah. us that's <laughs> us right although i will say this this is genuinely the first time i've seen you whilst we've been here we've been here what three weeks and you've yeah. not with toonie everywhere and everywhere i've seen you has been with her so i know behind <laughs> yeah. Yeah. she's out there yeah. <laughs> and last one lucy wants to know when did you realize that football could be your full-time job and a real possibility um, I don't think it was as young as people think, really. I think maybe like 16, 17, because like, you know, like women's football wasn't considered like a full time career. But thanks to you guys mm -hmm. taking it to the next level. Um, that's kind of when I realised that it could be full time. And even if it wasn't full time professional, I was going to do it and do what I had to do to to figure it out. But yeah, I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I think since... Uh, I was like four, five, six. I knew that I wanted to play football for as long as I could. But um, yeah, full-time professional, probably not until I got a bit older. Yeah. Oh, right. So I've seen this one come in as well, all right, from Holly. <laughs> I've got to get your thoughts on this. I need the insight, okay? Yeah. Um, right. <clears throat> What's Jill Scott's worst habit or her best joke? She's oh, always telling... Oh, back she's to me. Uh, ask Holly. <laughs> Holly going to it. It was Holly's fault. So. You're the fan favourite. You are. <laughs> so worst habit? Has she got one? She makes me feel so gullible all the time. Does she do that to you? Well, uh, it, how? Because I just believe everything that she says. Yeah, literally anything and everything. She'll just say things. And because she says it with like a dead straight face, I'm like... Oh, she must be like telling the truth. And it could be the most stupid thing and I believe it. I do do yeah. that to Alessia quite a lot. I need to think of an example for a future yeah. show. Next time she does it, I'll tell you. Okay. Oh, and we've also had, this is just the show that keeps on giving, I isn't know. it? We've had this video submission as well. It's a biggie. It's okay. a really big one. So brace yourself. What is it? Our question's for Alessia Russo. Who has the best hair in the squad? Oh. Oh. So yesterday we had eyebrows, yeah. didn't we? We've talked about who nails, got the okay. Vote? Um we asked um we asked uh, Beth England who had the best eyebrows oh, and right. she said Did either she, say Jess? she said Jess, Jess or Katie. Have good eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, or Katie. Katie got best nails as well. Right. So come on. Best hair in the squad. Best hair. Everyone will be watching. Uh, so they'll have some comments on this, I'm sure. I'm gonna say Ellie Roebuck. Ellie Roebuck, oh. She always moans about it because it's too thick, but it's just so nice, long, thick, blonde hair. Oh, she might get a GHD deal after this. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm very jealous of how thick Roebuck's hair is. <laughs> okay, there we yeah. are. Well, that one's uh, been answered, brilliant. Um, right, let's get on to this because we've got another question for you, but this yeah. is where me and Jill sit back because you yeah. do all the work. We have a break now. Yeah, this is actually from your teammates, all right? Oh, so nice. we've asked them to put some anonymous questions in here, okay? You won't know who it's from. You get to pick one of these. Okay. Open it up for us and you can read the question and give us your Am answer. Am I asking you? No, no, this no. is for oh, you. Oh, this you. is right, your okay. teammates asking you. Serena's got one in there as well. So it could be Serena's question, but it's all anonymous. We have to make you earn your appearance fee today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get paid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my my mum used to always moan at me for how I opened envelopes. Still a to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it was. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You want me to read it out? Yes, yeah. please. Would you rather be six years older or three years younger? That is so easy. Ooh. Three years younger. Yeah. Nothing wrong with being six years older. All yeah, right. yeah, I would like to like see where th how things plan out, but also like just get to live it all over again. That's that easy. A great answer. What would you pick? Uh, three years younger. Yeah, without, without <laughs> a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I definitely would. Uh, now, Les, I know you've been training really hard for the Nigeria game coming up, but I also wanted to know if you've been training hard for your next mission. And would you take on dun, 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 <laughs> the tower? <laughs> I would love to. Brilliant. Well, yeah. whilst you get in the zone, you go through your tactics and how you're going to take it on. Here's how all of your teammates have done so far. Right, let's get 30 seconds on the clock. 
Three, two, one, go! We've not made it easy. Come on. Right, you need to go quick. Quicker, come you on. Need to go quick. Right, you've I'm got trying. Awful... You've okay. got to go quick. Jill, I'm trying. <laughs> Don't be. It's go moving. It's going to tumble. Go, go for a different one. Okay, is that two gold? That's it two is gold. two gold. I know you're laid back, but you can't be now. Okay, all right. Ten points, all right. Two yeah, golden ones. There oh we go. My God, two money. at a time. Wow. Ten seconds. Can you? Can you? Oh, this one there. Oh, get it up. Get it. Three, two. Oh, get get one. Quick, quick, oh, quick. quick. This one here. Two. Oh, get them up. Oh, oh, oh. One hundred thirteen. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, every time we watch that and every time we get to see it, I'm just reminded of how amazing some of your teammates have been and how poor uh, some of them have been as well. So no pressure, OK? No pressure at all. So the rules are simple, Alessia. Two blocks at a time. Build the tower as high as you can. Try and get the gold ones because they're worth more points. Kay. If you want to stop at any point, just say freeze, but nobody's done that yet. OK. okay? Don't be the first. All right, this is how the leaderboard looks uh, like, OK? Neve Charles at the very top, 113 centimetres, 45 points as well. Beth England yesterday, unbelievable in getting all of the gold blocks out, OK? But she didn't go for height, all right? So... Think about the height, that's all I'm going to say. Let's go to uh, Esme Morgan, okay, 105 centimetres, 25 points, didn't oh, get enough yeah. golden blocks. Don't do a Rachel Daly though, all right? She just took her time, you only got 30 seconds, okay. 101 centimetres, I think that was like one or two, and 20 points. You could say Rachel Daly's the strongest though, because she's holding the rest up. <laughs> there. <laughs> there it is. There we go. <laughs> Always got a positive spin on it, all right? Let's get 30 seconds on the clock. Jill? Ready? Three, two, one, go. off we go. Go on, Les, go on. Right, so you've got to be thinking about this, trying to get, Neve was going I'm two blocks going at a time. A bit All right, quicker, so you can try and get two out if you can. Yeah, but quicker. Don't tumble it, don't tumble it. That's five points, go for golden, well go done. for golden. Well okay. done, Les, that's good. We need some gold, oh, two, oh, 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 oh quick, that's okay, that's getting... all right. All right, so five, you got 15, okay, 20 points. All right, we're nearly at, oh, another golden, okay. Yes, Les. Uh, five, um, 15, Four, oh, three, two, three. Can you get another one? Another one, quick, quick, quick. No! <laughs> that was your fault. Whoa, don't blame me. Don't blame oh, me. Uh, oh, I knew oh. it'd be me that did this. Oh, it's um, okay. I prefer the game at the Euros. Right, come in, come in. Let's okay. assess your performance. All right, here we go. Okay. Well, right. that's never um, happened before. First time. <laughs> How are you feeling about that? But it was going so well. Oh, Last three yeah. seconds, I think it was. I think you were pressuring me to get one more and then it just went... Kyle, it's totally... All my fault. fault. No guts, no glory. Totally um, our fault. But nobody goes away empty-handed. <laughs> I know people think these fan jokes are difficult, but for me, it's been a breeze. <laughs> <laughs> You've been looking forward to that one. You wanted to see what it yeah, was, yeah, didn't I've you? Been for that one. Right, well, uh, that's your lot for Lionesses Down Under today. What an ending that was. Spectacular, yeah. uh, entertaining. I think that's it how was, we'll uh, it sum was. it all up. Everyone in the studio, a massive round of applause. Alessia Russo, Woo! thank you. Brilliant job. Thanks for joining us. Aww. Thanks, guys. Maybe you can have apple tumble for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right, join us tomorrow when I think we'll all be feeling very safe in the studio Why is because that? we have safe hands. Mary Earps is joining us. <laughs> yeah, get in touch. We want to hear uh, from you. Any messages of support or any questions for her? Hashtag Lionesses Down Under. Don't forget you'll be able to find us at 12 30 on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. And we'll see you there. See you later.